Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2013. This is 2K. I'm here with Swarley and we're doing a New Japan episode 27? Is exactly what I was told, so we're, going, yeah. we're rolling with that. Kento Miyahara is working elsewhere. Oh. He was working elsewhere last show. Why do we, like why do, why do we even have him? Well, we're not paying him if he's working I mean, elsewhere. He's still like pissed me off. Fuck you, Kento. Wow. Why do you call him up and tell Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> that is the face you're currently making, Swirly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, he did spot out impressions of Swirly. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> like Swirly's yelling about he, Kento yeah. and he's standing behind Swirly doing the exact same thing. Making that thing. face. Yeah, yeah, all right. Oh, Toki Bakabe bringing alcohol. That seems like a thing he would do. All right. Good job, New Japan backstage. Keep on keep on being you. All right, so let's book uh Let's start the show with a couple tournament matches. Yeah, as we always do with the G1, we we you know, we don't got time to book a month long round robin tournament, guys. So, we just do semis and a final on the final night. Uh, so semi number one, we're going to do Kazuchika Okada and Carl Anderson. Yeah, no. You're right. We're going to do Kazuchika Okada and AJ Styles. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Booking on the fly here. That goes 16. Sure. Yeah. We don't want to work them too hard. And the winner in this open, slow-built, awesome match is going to be... Okada. Yes. Poor AJ, just kind of getting slowly slowly pecked down the card a little bit. Well, it, he made it to the semis of this very prestigious tournament. He did. And uh, um, besides my computer freaking out, what do you got for a second one? Carl Anderson. Obviously, and... <laughs> Taking on Hiroki Goto. Oh, Goto making it pretty far in the tournament. Yeah, good for him. Yeah, that's a good run for him. But he's losing to Carl. Of so. course, because Carl's yeah. Carl. <laughs> I love that in our universe, it's just like <laughs> Carl Anderson has received like Hulk Hogan status. I'm like, well, of course Carl's going over. Well, no, it'd be like, <laughs> oh, yeah, Kofi Kingston had a good run, and here he is yeah. in the semifinals versus Randy Orton. Yeah, yeah. All right, you got a you got a couple tag team matches. We were gonna. Do. Oh, we got all kinds of title matches. We set up last show. Let's do them. Let's start with all the right. junior tag title. All right, Young Gubuksu. Yes. Are going to take on the Fish Tacos. Yes. And we are putting the Young Bucks over. That seems like a good idea. I, I'm always in favor of putting the Young Bucks over. Especially, like, two years from now. I'm sure they'll be just as over. Yeah, totally. Let's beg it for the title. Let's not forget to do that. Yes. All right. What else you got for me, Swarley? He set up a regular tag team title match. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, it is going to be the champions of the Avengers. Yes. Taking on Toro Yano and Tomohiro Ishii. Oh, huh. Yep. Well, you right, this is, booked it. <laughs> this is where this is where I admit that it's been like three months since we booked this, it's been and a while. I have no clue what the hell I was on. Uh, Chaos versus the Avengers, bro. This oh yeah, pretty straightforward. Yeah, Naito. Naito wins. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sure. I have ideas for Naito. Okay. I'm just just throwing that out there. I'm willing to hear him. Yeah, we'll we'll get to it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to you when the when the lovely people who watch this aren't watching. Okay. Because I want it to be a surprise for them. Uh, we also have a junior title singles match. Yeah, we do. Uh, is it'll be the champion Kushida. Yep. Defending against Eddie Edwards. Sure. Kushida and his awesome hair go over. Uh, yeah. 
We're going to have we, to rearrange some things after we this. We could give them more time than that. All right, hold on. Overcompensated, but uh, uh, 16 is fine. Thanks, game. Yep. Good looking out. Always looking out. All right, we got an intercontinental title match. We do. And that Samoa is... Joe will defend his intercontinental title against Katsuyori Shibata. Yeah, that's fun. I like that idea. Joe, they're going to beat the crap out of each other. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So who's going over? Ah, uh, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, Shibata. Yeah. But still, fun match. Fun match. Fun match. And, uh... Hmm. I think that's all we had set up. So, we're doing the G1 Climax. Mm-hmm. Which means, got a little bit of time here, so I have your semi-main. Not your G1 Climax Championship, but your semi-main. Okay. You ready? Um, I, I guess. Yeah, you're not going to, you're not going to like this, but I don't care. Um, triple, triple, th trios. Yeah, that's the thing. Not triple threat. Trios match. You got Kota. You got Kota's friend, I guess, Kenny. They're friends again? Yes? Uh, sure. And they're going to need a, a third guy. Let's see who we can... All right, we don't use those. <laughs> eh. We could do the respect with Daisuke. We could have... Oh, Tana's teamed with Koda a few times, hasn't he? Yeah, sure. Versus... This, this sure is a match. Oh, you don't even know yet. <laughs> I really don't. I really <laughs> don't know. Versus TMDK. All right. And Ricochet. Because it rhymes. Uh... Mm. And then I we, think, yeah. Whoops. I uh, I I think someone besides Ricochet should team with uh, TMDK. Or on the other side, you should put Shinsuke in there somewhere. Like maybe instead of Tanahashi, it's Shinsuke. Oh right, right, right. Well, no, because Koda and Shinsuke would not work together. Hmm. I okay. have an idea. And again, you may not like this. But uh Okay. Yujiro. So Yujiro. Bullet Club Yuj Bullet Club's done, right? Bullet Club's <sighs> Bullet Club's done. They are done, but like we have so many other people we could book besides Yujiro. Eh, but Yujiro. Like, we could put Daisuke in there. We could put... We could put Daisuke. Daisuke did just face Koda. Mm-hmm. Daisuke's a better wrestler. Yes. But on More... the other hand, Yujiro. You're not making a compelling argument here. Daisuke. Okay. I had a whole stable planned out. They were going to have a great name. Yujiro's go to get a new nickname. Now it's over. I mean, the, you can still do the stable and just replace it with Daisuke, and now it's better. Now it's not as fun. You I... think Daisuke would call himself the wizard? No, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> I, I do think he would call himself that, 100%. Okay, Daisuke the wizard, Sakamoto. Okay. And uh, teaming with TMDK as the Wizards of Oz. Because they're from Australia? Yes. Okay. All right. And um, Mikey Nichols is getting the win. Sorry, Kenny. Wait, hold on. So we're, so we set this match up to set up the Wizards of Oz, and we have them beating Tanahashi, the champion, and Kenny Omega? Correct. We're going to start them out that hot, huh? 
um, how else would you start off the next big thing in professional wrestling? I don't know. I feel like maybe put them over three less guys in case this doesn't work. Oh, look at you playing it safe, like some sort of safe player. <laughs> We've been burned by this before, Nick. Fine. Alberto Del Rio and the caged animals. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, Alberto the Jobber El Patron. Caged Patrons versus Wizards of Oz. <laughs> and the Wizards go over. Yep. And Alberto's taking the fall. We gotta keep. We gotta protect. Um, caged animals. Like, are we just gonna release Alberto? Because like, we're really. <laughs> no. Like, okay. He's doing his job, which is jobbing. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hold on. Oh, this is really happening. Mhm. Mm I will say I'm the, the more we go through this, the more happy I am that we didn't do it with you, Jarrell. Uh, I'm still upset <laughs> that you didn't let me do it with Ricochet, first of all. Their names rhyme. I guess Ricochet is kind of more of a wizard, but I don't know. Daisuke, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a wizard of science, I guess. I don't know. He's... His uh, physique just def defies all kinds of... It's a magical physique, as well. I like saying. to think TMDK come out like normal, and they have Daisuke dressed up like a wizard, like full-on pointy hat, robe. I'm, I'm imagining Daisuke just regular as always, like like black tights, maybe a t-shirt, and then just like a pointy wizard hat. Yeah, and, I... and he looks miserable that he has the hat on. <laughs> like, absolutely miserable. Okay. All right, so we still need those... Now, time. yeah, all those people we didn't book now need to be booked. Yeah. So now we could do this. The, the now we could do the. Let's, let's do it. Let's do a two on two. No. What do you? Who what? are you? Two on two. Who are you? What do you got for me? Kota Ibushi. Yeah. And Ricochet versus Nakamura and Tanahashi. Why would they team up? Why? Why wouldn't they team up? They want to take out these young kids. It's the young. It's the young kids who are secretly not that young, against the old guard. Are we? Are we making the old guard a team? Are no. We <laughs> are we turning it's Tana just heel? The, it's just the story of this match. Is Coda winning? Ah, uh, sure. No. Ricochet wins. Okay. I'm still fine with this. We'll see how the old guard feels. Tana, take a loss. Oh, boy. You're really, really pushing it here. No, he's cool with it. Yep. They like, they love Ricochet. Because maybe if you want, you could then have a Ricochet Kota Ibushi match at the next event for the title. With Ricochet being like, hey, man, I helped you out. How about you scratch my back? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, maybe. I'm just saying, maybe. It's on the table. It's on the yeah. table. Um, uh, let's book our final before we forget. Sure. I'm just trying to figure out why my computer's not plugged in, but let's, uh, it's not going to die, so that's fine. Oh, Christopher Daniels. He's getting title shots in TNA. Let's just give him one right now. Surprise running. All right, go ahead. So Kata uh, and uh, Carl. Carl. And in this battle of K's, who's going over? Carl's. He's not ready anymore. He was ready. He's not ready anymore. We he's took away ready. how ready he was. He's too ready. Yeah. He's Okada, over ready. Okada's winning the G1 this year. He pulled a Sami Zayn and he got too ready. There you go, Okada. You got your moment. So who's not booked? Good question. Doc Gallows, who I don't care about. Shelton, who I don't care about. Mm -hmm. Kenny Omega, who I do care about. Correct. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And uh, 
Hope it doesn't bomb the show. I mean, that's that's a weird match, but all right. We need Kenny to get wins. I'm going. I'm reverting back to 2015 of this save and trying to get Kenny Omega over. He should be champ by now. Okay. Uh, do we do we want to book like a six man or something? Or are we good with that? I mean, who's left? Some juniors. Okay. Let's book a six man. I mean, we don't have to. I mean, just, there's good wrestlers left. Yeah, there are good man wrestlers left. And then there's also Liger Jr. Right. Who is 100% in this match. Show Captain Tanaka. Yuru, Japan. Show Tanaka. Look at this team. They're going to take on Alex Shelley. <laughs> of course they are. Christopher Daniels. Sure. And Davey Richards. And Davey Richards. <laughs> wow. The old Guy Gene versus Japan match here. Yep. New Japan versus TNA. I'm going to be honest, I kind of want to put the young boys over, but I just, I don't know. The, 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 they, their opponents might be very unhappy about this. So Captain New New Japan can't get it, but let's see if Sho can get it. Shelly. No, I mean, Al Alex Shelley should be furious about this. <laughs> like, he's jumping to a young boy. Like, he should be mad. Shelley can get the win, then. All right, we need to well, rearrange. Let, some yeah, things. yeah. Let it be known the young boys put up a good fight. Oh, yeah. Did I, did I say that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I put open. And you know what? This, this doesn't matter for the ratings. Let's keep... Let's keep Shotanaka strong. Okay. Like cool specifically him. All right. So I think this should go down a little bit. Yes. And then I'm... Mm, how's that? Yeah, that's probably good. All right, let's run this show. Let's kill New Japan a little bit more. That's what we do here. Yeah, look at us killing New Japan with these B openers. <laughs> you say that, but this is going to be the best match on the card. Uh, Okada and Carl work good together. <laughs> yeah? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had great chemistry. I think we may have determined and then forgot that maybe Goto's not that good in this save. We probably should have remembered that. Or he might just be old. Could be both. Yeah, Goto is not getting the same shot Shibata got. No. Goto might not be here by the time the Tokyo Dome rolls around if he keeps getting these ratings. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Shelton ben Sergeant Benjamin is really good in this save. Kenny Omega came out to a band member gimmick. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> I like to think he came out to, like, Guitar Hero. Just, mm -hmm. like... Like... Strumming away. Well, what I like to imagine is, like, a song came on, like, I don't know, some New Japan cover of a famous rock song, and he sat on the stage and actually played a Guitar Hero version of that song, like, complete with the the game up on the screen. And then he came well, to the ring, like, a normal entrance. Maybe that's what he'll do at the Tokyo Dome. Oh, that sounds good. No, he'd have to do it with, like, an actual band behind him at the Tokyo Dome. Mm, fair. Hmm. Huh. I mean... That's hmm. pretty good for that match. Yeah, it's not a 38 like we used to get. Yeah, like there were three young boys in that match. I'm happy with that. Yeah, good. Good job by you. Hmm. Almost as good as this match. Huh. Okay. Well, the Wizards of Oz came out good, so this is good. Just need to build them up, Swirly. Build yep. them up. Are the tag titles just destined for 69s? It could be. It could be. Because, like, I feel like at least the Avengers are better than this. I mean, Yano's not great, but, huh. like, Ishii's real good. Yeah. This is our mid card. I mean, it's a strong mid card. Yeah, Fujita came out looking good. Ooh. Still haven't seen it. Oh, boy. 
Who doctor? All right, Eddie. Oh, I guess when I said give him more time, I guess I was wrong. Yeah, no, don't don't give them more time. That was that learned. was that's on me. That's on me. <laughs> that's my bad. Oh, okay. Shibata is a knockout artist, actually. Like, seems legit. Yeah, but it got a 49 rating, so... Yeah, they don't like it. I like it, though. I was the 49. I was all 49 <laughs> with everything. I was the one guy that was like, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, this is real good. He just runs and kicks people, and they're knocked out. Yeah, like, that's what he does. I don't know why they don't like it. Yep. Probably because he lost, so he didn't knock anyone out. So they're like, what is his gimmick? <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. It's like, yeah, no, he's been kicking people for like four years, like whatever. Yeah, this did good. Yep. All these guys are good. Go figure. Yep. Weird. Huh. Yeah, Okada and Carl don't click. Still got to be. Still works, yeah. Yep. Hey, there we go. Also, we're on TV now. I don't know if we yeah. said that on air. We got, we got World Pro Wrestling back after like a year and a half of it being off the air. So that's good. Yeah, so we might actually be good again. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hey, this was good. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you at the next show. Have a good one. Bye.